Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about some common floor mat issues on the older Tesla Model S. This is a 2013 Tesla Model S. Yeah. You can see there on the lower left of your screen, the floor mat is bunched up underneath the accelerator and brake pedals. Now you can see this is caused by the failure of the adhesive on the Velcro pads that are attached normally to the bottom of the floor mats. And as you can see here, I've tried to put some additional adhesive uh, over the years to see if I could keep that sticking, but eventually it just fails. So I talked to Tesla about this and they don't have a redesign for these older Model S cars. And I think you would just have to buy another new floor mat with uh, the new adhesive pads, which to me is kind of silly. So. Today we're going to try to make a permanent fix for this. So first thing we'll do is we'll pull the floor mat out, shake it out, and vacuum it. Just clean it off a bit. And also remove any of the Velcro pads that are still stuck uh, inside the car. Just take them right off. So you can see here that three of our four uh, Velcro pads have just come off due to the adhesive just wearing out. And this fourth one is not long for this world. As you can see here, it's already peeling. So if you've done like me and tried to put on other adhesive on the backs of some of these pads when they come off, just take off the adhesive. Uh, make sure the pad is fairly clean and flat underneath like this. All right, so with all that extra adhesive off now, we're going to reattach on here. And how are we gonna do that? Well. The best way I could think of is to get some heavy-duty uh, carpet thread. Uh, this is a Singer thread that I picked up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. I got some uh, very heavy-duty sewing needles uh, also on Amazon. I'll put a link to those as well. Now, given that we're going to be pushing a very thick needle and thread through a thick piece of carpet with padding, uh, I highly recommend getting yourself a thimble, or if you don't have a thimble, heck, even a water bottle cap uh, will, will protect your fingers. Your fingers will thank you. So I'm just guessing um, how long of a piece of thread I'm going to need. I'm just going to cut off a section. I'll tie it off in the back in several knots. Uh, that'll form the end of our thread and that'll be the starting point for when we pull through so it doesn't all pull through the entire carpet when we're done. You might notice some adhesive building up on the needle like this. We'll just take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and wipe that off periodically. Just get all that off. That'll make the needle go through easier and you'll get less pull on the carpet. There you go, clean needle, we'll start again. Okay, once we get to the end here, we have the whole thing sewed in now. Uh, we're gonna just basically do a few loops here uh, at the end just to tie off the thread. So you can either just come through uh, the back side or if you want to, you know, throw an extra loop through here, but don't pull it all the way tight. So we'll push one thread through and then just leave a little bit of a loop here like this and we'll come up right through the bottom 
again and go through that loop. And that'll help tie off the extra thread here. And I'll just come right through that loop and then we'll pull that taut like so. And then we can tie off a few knots here at the end. And then when we're done with that, we'll just cut off the excess thread. Now you'll see a little bit of a circle pattern from where you sewed on the front end, but that will, I think, work itself out with some vacuuming. And the bottom line is now your Velcro pad is really well adhered to the carpet. So we'll do that now uh, for the other ones. I got one more here and another one up here, and then I'll cut you back on. Okay, so we've got them all sewed in now, each of the four um, pads, and we'll put this back in the car now, see how it works. All right, let's get the floor mat in, lined up, and positioned properly. Press it into the Velcro on the floor. Make sure that you're pushed in with each of the Velcro pads lined up underneath where they should be, and hopefully this will no longer slip and bunch up. And as you can see, you can rip off very easily and the pad stays adhered to the floor mat. So you can do the same thing for the passenger side floor mat, uh, also on those Velcro pads. Uh, hopefully this helps you out a lot and thanks very much for watching.